Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Fun with Leilani. Today we have Mama. Hi everybody. And guess what we're gonna be making, Mama? We're gonna be making... Guacamole! 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 All right, so... What are the ingredients? Well, you tell me and I'll make and I'll say it in Spanish. <laughs> All right, that's a great idea, guys. So we're gonna need three avocados, tres aguacate, one lime, una lima, um, two tomatoes, dos tomates, what's this called? Onion. Oh. One onion. Una cebolla. Una cebolla. And then what, we're gonna need this right garlic. So un ajo. Un ajo. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need cilantro. That's how you really say it. Very good. Jalapeno. Very good. Mm -hmm. I learned what's this? Comino. Comino. Cumin. Sal. Salt. So are we ready to do this? I was born ready, Mama. All right. Good to know. And guess what? We got some chips because who eats guacamole without chips? No, don't, no, 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 don't do that to me. Mm. Good. Oh. So, what we're first going to do is we're going to take um, the avocados. We're going to push this aside right here. And we're going to cut the avocado. Now, this is the coolest thing that we found in the store. Mm -hmm. It's an avocado peeler and uh, there's a big like nut in there and sometimes it's really hard to take out with a knife, but this actually takes it out. And, it's uh, green for avocado. There you go. So what we're gonna do is you can put the bowl up here. Oh, and kids, make sure you have an adult. That's why um, you have an adult for this video because, you know. Oh my God, I never saw an avocado like that. It's like a nut right there. Make sure you have an adult supervision, um, but the best thing you could do is have an adult make this with you because you're, you're gonna need a lot of knife stuff, so. You know, when I was uh, growing up, my mom, she would always cook. Hi, mom. <laughs> she would always cook and I would always be there watching her cook and um, I always I do the same now this is a little baby one okay. I've never seen it that small I'm in, <laughs> I'm in shock look it oh my goodness that's too cute can I cut the little thing yeah we'll cut it let me get all let me get this cut up now I'm really happy because my granddaughter wanted to guacamole, it, so she's one uh, to learn how to make all these delicious dishes that yeah. uh, were passed down to me, and now I'm passing them down to my daughter and passing it down to my granddaughter. Yeah, I, I've been really wanting to learn how to cook because you know what gets me really aggravated? When it's Taco Tuesday, nobody makes tacos, and I'm like, it's Taco Tuesday. What you making? Hmm? You're not making tacos? So with this side, we're gonna take the avocado. Look at how easy this is gonna be. You put this right there and look at how easy. That is so cool. You see that? And all you do is you're gonna take it mm -hmm. out. Look at that. Easy. Mm -mm. Okay. Here's another one. And like I said, if you want to make your own dish, you, if you always wanted to make avocado, but you're like, man, how do I make avocado? You gotta do that. But if you want to make guacamole, um, this is the right video for you. Did you know, fun fact, that avocados come from a tree called a guacamole tree, right? Or is it an avocado tree? <laughs> it's an avocado tree. To me, it's guacamole because after the avocado, you can make up guacamole with it. So there you go. So these avocados are really, good. they're really good. We picked some really good ones. Mm. This is our mm. last it's one. It's got something in it right there. Okay, let's take that out. Our hands are washed. Make sure that your hands are washed before you start this. 
Yeah. Oh, it smells good. It smells like avocados. Okay, now that we did the avocados, now we're gonna move on to the tomatoes. Yay! The thing that I always, that I, I really liked about cooking was the ingredients and the flavor, but how the process of it and like when you cut it, I just always wanted to learn how to like cut stuff because to me it's just so. Remember kids, do not take a knife, let an adult do this for you because um, you're gonna need a knife to cut the tomatoes. Yeah. And these are really good Roma tomatoes. And it's very sharp, that knife is sharp. Um, Mama, what's your favorite thing in guacamole? Well, not only the avocados, but sometimes I like it nice and spicy. A oh, nice yeah. spicy guacamole. Mm -hmm. And you can also put um, so many things in guacamole, um, but I like to um, have guacamole with chips. I like to have, put guacamole sometimes in my rice. I like to have guacamole oh. in my tacos. Mm -mm. I the thing that I like about you know spicy stuff is that it adds a lot of flavor. You know? Like tacos, I love putting spicy stuff on my tacos. Okay, this tone. Okay, so now that we it have smells great already. Now that we have that, look at how nice that looks, the red and the green. Right here. We don't want any in our guacamole. All right. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> okay. What is it time for, Mama? Now it's time for... Oh, Cebolla. They say... Actually, when you cut an onion, people start to cry. Well, you're probably gonna see that here shortly. Good. They say it's got that like spicy ting when you're cutting it, so they just start crying because it's got something in it. Let's talk about that spicy zing. When you cut an onion, it releases a chemical called synpropanethyl S oxide. That chemical is created by the release of enzymes that generate sulfuric acid. As the fumes or gas from the chemical reach your eyes, they activate your sensory neurons that cause a burning sensation. Tears are then released from your lacrimal or tear glands around your eyes to wash away that irritating spicy zing. Now back to the fun. It's not like they're sad or anything while they're cutting onions because every time you cut onions, <laughs> I'm so sad. No, it doesn't work like that. It's it's the something that the onion has in it that makes people cry. Please, okay, don't tell, tell your parents that they're, why are you crying? Are you sad, mommy, when they're cutting onions? No, in fact, that's why, that's what onion does, it makes people cry. It's got that zing in it. I already feel it. So oh. what I'm doing right now is just cutting through, making little, um... Oh, she's... <laughs> so sad. Remember, it is not because she is sad. It's because, you know, the onion, it's got like a zinc to it. She's not thinking about that. So you really put oh, wow. as she much had onions as you would like. <laughs> but oh, wow. I'm just gonna- Oh, no, I, I hear it now. Oh my. It smells great though. I love onions on my burgers. I, I think I love onions on everything. Onion rings are just great. <laughs> See, onion gets you like that. It's got that zing so, in it that makes you cry. I'm gonna put the onions in here. Jalapenos. Um. So now that we cut the onions, we got the avocados in there. We have the tomatoes, and I did a whole lot of crying. And now we're gonna cut the jalapeno. And we want it kid friendly, so we're just gonna cut half of it. But we don't because you could put as much as you want. You could put the whole thing in there, but we're just gonna, you know, put half of it kid friendly. And do you know what is the hottest thing in a jalapeno? Are you talking about the hottest jalapeno? No. What is the hottest thing in the jalapeno? The seeds. 
I didn't even know that was a guess. Sometimes I have a taste for chunky, like chunky um guacamole. Sometimes I just like mostly I like the silk soft one. Soft one. So now that we cut up the jalapenos, so we have to, we're gonna put at least a half of a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon and you spread it all around. You want to get the correct amount because you know. Actually, this is all up to you guys, really. We just are going to, you know, follow the directions. That's good, right? Mm-hmm. You sprinkle it all around. About there. Okay. Ooh, it's okay. looking good already, guys. Then you take a half a teaspoon of cumin, my favorite spice. Never heard about that spice before. Yeah, it seems great. This is really good. Mmm, love it. The cumin on eggs and soups and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I like soup. I like spicy soup. Okay, so now that we have all these ingredients, we're gonna put cilantro. like maybe a quarter cup of cilantro. Sprinkle this on. It smells great. What? Well, I have a question, Mama. What do we do when all of that is done? Do we mix it or something? What we're gonna do after this is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in a pilon. No, a pilon. Oh this? yeah, a pilon is this heavy thing. Whoa. And then we're gonna mash it to make guacamole. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, we're gonna push this aside for right now. Because we gotta okay. put garlic, right? And lime. and lime. So those are gonna be our last two ingredients is mm -hmm. the lime and one clove of garlic. Okay? <laughs> that was mine. ASMR right there. Oh, and if you wanna hear an ASMR video, go check out my ASMR video. She's got real cool ASMR videos. Oh, and you wanna know something? If you watch my channel, this is gonna be the biggest, biggest surprise yet. She is from MNR ASMR. She does MNR ASMR, so you should go check out her channel. She does all ASMR videos. She doesn't show her face, but hey. If you watch my channel, go to her channel. There you go. Cause you wonder, the background looks the same, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so go check her out. Make sure to subscribe in her channel. Give her a big thumbs up and comment if it's very relaxing or not because you could comment on hers. Thanks, baby. Uh-huh. Mmm, the garlic smells so good. Hey, you're a team in YouTube, you know? Well, I'm going to use one clove. Again, it's all how your taste buds. The taste buds wants more garlic. You can put more garlic. I'm just going to keep it to one garlic clove. And then we need lime. Okay, you're going to have to open that up. Oh. And then we're going to press this down. we got to do it like this. Okay, and then we squeeze it oh. here. Okay. So then Decent. I'm going to cut the lime in half. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this right here and you're gonna squeeze. Whoa, the lime. okay, can I squeeze it? Yep. I'm gonna hold it for you. Oop! Oh. Squeeze it hard. Oh. Look at all the juices. I think we're gonna need two limes. Old fashioned one, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Good, right? Let me see. Let me see if we can get a little bit. Oh, like hot there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one line. Here. Let me be like hold. Let me see if I have mama's. You wanna thing. you wanna hold the, onto this? I'm gonna cut another line because I think you're gonna need another line. Take the line, press down to get all the juices. Use your muscles. Use your muscles. Yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> Ty, Ty, and people go for you like. <laughs> My face is red. There you go. Squeeze. Oh. Ah. Squeeze the light. <laughs> So, whoa, you did that in seconds. Okay, so now that we have the lime juice, what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer everything into the pilon, okay? Can I mash it? Of course. <laughs> do you want me to do this? I got it. I smashed a nail. <laughs> Be careful if you have long nails, it might smash. You want to smash a nail, so you want to be careful with that. Uh, again, fun with Leilani. You really want to get in there. But but don't get into there in there because you might end up like me, like smashing a nail. So don't get too much in there. Make sure that you do all of the yeah, I will. I'm just trying to get my fingernails away from that. Ooh. Yeah, it's looking good. See? Show them. Yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, you can make a chunky consistency or you could make it nice and smooth. My taste buds are like guacamole. Okay. I'm like one of those, the lunch ladies from Diary of the Wimpy Kids that just splatter like Smells we, great. I think we did a great job, Mama. I think so too. We make a good team. Here you go. So if you want the ingredients to this, we'll have it at the end of the video. Yeah. So that this way you could make uh, our kid friendly guacamole. So, so um but like we said, you can make it as different as you want. You could put more jalapeno, you could put more cilantro, you could put more tomatoes, but we're, we made it that way, so if you want to make it like us, we'll have it at the end of the video, how to make guacamole. I'm going to dive in because, you know, this is just calling my name, alright? Well, this is how it looks. And when you dip a chip in. Let's try it. Oh, uh-huh. I'm speechless. I five. We made it. This job. is. We did a great job. On this. Mm -hmm. You taste. You taste Whoa. the lemon. Or I'm sorry, the lime. Um, you got chunks. Look at mm -hmm. the chunks. Tomatoes, avocado, and cilantro. You get a kick of that cilantro and that onion. Since you and I, we can sit here and eat the whole thing ourselves. <laughs> yeah. There's no sharing. Yeah, no sharing. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that share button so your family can make some guacamole. Yum. Mm -mm. This is good. See you on the next video. Make sure to watch her channel, MNR ASMR. Mmm, mm -hmm. good stuff. Mmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. looking good. <laughs>